Okay, we had a team out watching this glacier, and we recorded the biggest calving event that's ever been put on film. We had nine cameras going. This is what a couple of the cameras saw. 400 foot tall calving face breaking off, huge icebergs rolling over. Okay, how big was that? It's hard to get it. So it, an illustration again gives you a feeling for scale. A mile of retreat in 75 minutes, across a calving face in that particular event three miles wide. The block was three-fifths of a mile deep, and if you compare the expanse of the calving face to the Tower Bridge in London, about 20 bridges wide. Or if you take an American reference to the US Capitol building, and you pack 3,000 Capitol buildings into that block, it would be equivalent to how large that block was. 75 minutes. Now, I've um, come to the conclusion after spending a lot of time in this climate change world that we don't have a problem of economics, technology, and public policy. We have a problem of perception. The policy and the economics and the technology are serious enough issues, but we actually can deal with them. I'm certain that we can. But what we have is a perception problem, because not enough people really get it yet. You're an elite audience. You get it. Fortunately, a lot of the political leaders in the major countries of the world are, elite, are an elite audience that, for the most part, gets it now. But we still need to bring a lot of people along with us. And that's where I think organizations like TED, like the Extreme Ice Survey, can have a terrific impact on human perception and bring us along. Because I believe we have an opportunity right now. We're, we are nearly on the edge of a crisis, but we still have an opportunity to face the greatest challenge of our generation, in fact, of our century. And this is a terrific, terrific call to arms to do the right thing for ourselves and for the future. And I hope that we have the wisdom to let the angels of our better nature rise to the occasion and do what needs to be done. Thank you. Thank you.